Can you see all them vehicles just queued up there on the on the bridge? Right, it's nine o'clock in the morning. People are working out about their commute. Used to be us that. And we just uh, just on this boat. It's quarter past nine, which is jolly well early for us. down towards towards Tattanoo, really, to Tattanoo Marina. Um, yeah, all sorts of folks along here, all sorts of different marines. Some are really nice, smart gardens. This one here, it's got a lovely little summer house. Nice fencing and hanging baskets. And others are more like outside workshops. That's what we're going at at the moment. Snail's pace. But it's no rush. These two fellas. And guard them too. This is the sort of mooring that probably suit us in a few years to come. We've been thinking about in the morning where well, we might be able to keep a motor home and um, this looks like it's one such here so we've got to use the boat in the summer and we go off to Europe with the motor home in the winter that's all a bit of a dream really but hopefully it'll come off but we've got to do all the network first we don't want to get rid of this narrow boat until we've done all the inland waterways because there's quite a few which you can't get down with a wide beam or with a longer boat so this one being narrow boat at 57 feet uh, now just to do all the network so once we've done that we might just get a get a wide beam and a motorhome just chug around slightly less of the network but have 
more space. Because that's one of them trailer here with a butty on the back. Curtains4, curtains4.com. So we're still going past Golden Nook Farm. Um, getting towards the end now, I think. Now this tow path here is a right mess. Probably one of the worst things about winter cruising, I suppose, really is sometimes you've got tow paths like that. Two boat on the end with the big boy type fenders, the fluorescent ones, is the last boat on these moorings at Golden Nook Farm. And they can uh, finally up the speed a little bit. That's it, we're just approaching bridge 114, pop past the moorings, and open up the front a little bit. Here on the way up, and it's got this uh, really nice view just the other side of the canal. Lots of nice things, to, interesting things to have a look at. But, um, I don't know why, but K wasn't too keen. So, uh, we have to go on elsewhere. Oh, I can't see what's wrong with it. I thought quite a nice view, really. The tractors. Under this bridge, bridge 109, is shady. There's spent some, a couple of nights or afternoons in here, and this is also where we saw the mink um, dive in the water and pull out a rat and kill it and then leave it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, a shady, very nice pub. Oh, I've got stuff for sale here. Morium and we came this way about what was it a month ago? Yep. Yeah, about a month ago. Lovely it was too. It's very nice. This is the iron lock. Finished in 1828. Mind you, I can see those gates up there are 2013, so obviously it's been there. Yeah, that's the way it got built. It was originally built in 1888. So it's 20 past two, and we made it here to the Anglo Welsh Fire Company depot, um, just below the Bunbury double locks. So just up where that bridge is just up there, and just beyond there are the double locks. Cage has gone up there to, to set them, and um, I'm just hanging back. We'll get too involved in these boats here with the flow of the water coming out a lock. But um, yeah, I think we're going to be okay. Get through these, and we've got another mile and a half or so to get to um, Calvary. We're going to stop there and well, have a late lunch. And um, then go on not far from there to Barbridge Junction. Then we join the Middlewich branch of the Shropshire Union. And we're going to just plod up there and far as we can, I suppose, really, until it gets a bit cold and dark. <laughs> but not until it gets dark, but until we've had enough, really, it gets a bit chilly when the sun goes down. So, um, yeah, not bad progress today, really.
just had lunch and we just set off from just back there that's uh, the um, cavalry services um, we filled up with water as I can say it's covered in our rubbish and um, now we're headed off it's four o'clock so probably be dark about six tonight so we're going to keep going I think about a mile and a half to go now to the Barbers Junction and then we're on to Middlewich Branch and then we're going to go up the route to Venetia Marina We're a bit concerned about this little boat because we met the couple that owned it when it was moored at Calvary by the bridge and um, they're saying now it's um, leaky from the top and not too long afterwards we heard that uh, one had sunk by the bridge at Calvary and we put it by with this little one but fortunately it wasn't a lovely little boat I said they had it now, it was a long time wasn't it? 21 years, yeah, yeah. Yeah, a bit all over with it. I'm just waiting for this boat to go out of the junction here. And Kate is going to expertly turn. So I'm just sitting at the front watching. So this is the branch, that, sorry, so this is the middle witch branch of the Shropshire Union. So where that boat is heading in front of us, that goes down towards um, Stone uh, and then uh, yeah, and it, you could turn off there onto the um, Angotham Canal. This way, where we're going to go, goes towards Venetia Marina, Church Men's Hall and uh, to Middlebridge. Turn it hard round now. Hard round. Hard round, hard round, hard round. Let's go to right. Part of the. Yeah. Arms up. That's good. There we go, we're in. On to the Middlewich branch. So this is the lock, this is the lock at Venetian Marina. Lock of Venetian Marina, oh, I don't know how you pronounce this. Have a go. Charles Mundiston lock. Everybody can correct me on that one. Charles Mundiston lock. And uh, yeah, it's quite nice now. Sun's, sun's just going down now, so Kay's just there. Raggy, and uh, I'm just filling this one up. Where are we going through? It's one of our later evenings of cruising. It's uh, getting on towards six o'clock now, um, but we're just going to go for this last lock, this Church Minzo lock, and then we're going to be uh, lowering up just the other side of that bridge, just down there. Just saying now it's nice to do a whole day of cruising because usually we do like do a couple of three miles or more up but um today we've been going from about nine stop to get to the woods so you can see them logs on the front of the boat there <coughs> stop about half an hour and cut those up and, uh, then we stopped again for lunch cavalry since then we've been going all the time quite nasty this bit here, you can't really sort of more up to pick K up because it's all a bit, uh, a bit broken up so uh, we're going to more just other side of that bridge down there so Casey's just going to walk on down and um, we get moored up for the night get back inside and get warm got the fire going so we've been, been going all day we've done two lots of washing and dry most of it <laughs> so uh, and we we filled it with water so we had a quite a productive day really. 
for you for a bit of warm up and a cup of tea now. That's Church, Church Min's Hole Lock there in the background, and Cages, I might be able to spell out, Cages is walking this way towards the boat. This is, this is uh, Aqueduct Marina, and um, there's some moorings just beyond this uh, marina. And we're going to head up there and uh, moor up for the night. Boats in there. So we're just going to moor up where that boat is, just up there on the left hand side. 